All right, this is episode three of the Bigfoot Society podcast coming at you at, while I'm recording this, on May the 4th, Star Wars Day. Uh, So, for all you Star Wars nerds like me out there, special for you. Here's a fun little uh, tidbit I read. Don't know if it's true because I wasn't there, but supposedly when they were filming Return of the Jedi... They had to have special crew with uh, Peter Mayhew uh, when he was in his Chewbacca costume because it was being filmed in the Redwood Forest in, you know, Pacific Northwest, California. And they didn't want people shooting at him because they would think he was Bigfoot. Uh, Pretty fantastic. So... Also, uh, rest in peace, Peter, Peter Mayhew, awesome actor of our time. Um, very unfortunate passing there. This is the actor who played Chewbacca in the Star Wars films. Also in news today, uh, tomorrow, and all of you listening to this probably already heard this. You've already heard episode zero of the Bigfoot and beyond podcast hopefully if you haven't check it out but tomorrow full episode one of the bigfoot and beyond podcast and i know i'm butchering the name of it but i'm also uh doing this in my car as well so i can't look at the full name i don't have it memorized yet anyways it's bobo and cliff from finding bigfoot fantastic news because they are hilarious I'm just ecstatic that they are finally doing a podcast. I hope they would for a long time. And now they finally are. I mean, in the few minutes of episode zero that we've heard, these guys are hilarious. And Cliff is, Cliff alone is a wealth of knowledge. I've heard him on many uh, podcasts. I haven't heard Bobo yet. So hopefully that will be amazing as well. I'm sure it will be. And I'm sure, you know, people of that caliber, Cliff and Bobo, the clip, the guests that they'll be able to get are going to be fantastic. So really looking forward to that. In fact, if you guys are listening to the podcast, which I'm sure you are, um, I would love to interview either one of you or the two together both together or separately whatever let's make it happen and figure it out and um it'd be the first awesome uh interview on the bigfoot society podcast also in bigfoot news uh we've got the ohio bigfoot conference going on uh today pretty big conference in the bigfoot world excuse that motorcycle um But I believe Cliff and Bobo are there as well. Um, Another thing, maybe in the future, Bigfoot Society can go to. That would be like on the bucket list to actually go to Bigfoot Conference. And can you imagine doing a live podcast there at a Bigfoot Conference? Like, that would be amazing. It'd be totally like what happens at the uh, Comic-Cons, you know, where you have like live... Uh, podcasts. I would love that. Anyways, I'm saying it here. Also, if you want to share your Bigfoot sighting story, or you want to share a story, or you want to be interviewed, or you're up for being interviewed, or you're like, whatever, I would love if you could contact me, uh, DM me using uh, the at Bigfoot Society. Instagram, uh, send me a DM there, or um, you can send me an email at bigfootsociety at gmail.com. It is going to reach me quicker on the Instagram just because I'm more involved with that, Uh, but I would love to get some actual interviews going on. That would be fantastic. I need to crank out these episodes a little bit more regularly is my goal kind of slacking on that so i heard 
heard this clip on the uh, Sasquatch Chronicles podcast and it kind of got me to think and so this guy brought up and I can't remember his name sorry but he brought up how it's kind of ridiculous that people go into this woods to mess with a creature that's kind of the equivalent of at least a grizzly bear probably even more massive and just kind of poke at it get it to respond or or like mess around with it right that's crazy and then I got started thinking like what why are we attracted to finding this <clears throat> this Bigfoot or the Sasquatch I started thinking like what what draw drew me to it originally and I started thinking back to you know how it started out with watching in search of you know, the famous In Search Of with Leonard Nimoy and all these different shows. I think it's because we live in a world that is so bombarded with knowledge. We can find knowledge at the click of a button. All I have to do is search for something. Literally, I'm typing it in, clicking a button, and I have everything I could ever want about this subject. However, in this crazy world, there are still things that we don't know and one of them is Bigfoot, Sasquatch, these cryptids, cryptozoological and we don't know and we can't look them up and I think that that just frustrates us as human beings maybe we don't really feel frustrated but I think that gets us and we've got to figure it out there are certain human beings I'm one of them that I've got to figure something out. And so you've got these people and they've got maybe, you know, oral traditions from Native Americans. They've got stories written down by Teddy Roosevelt, but we still haven't really nailed it down. And so that's why you have, you know, people out there, you've got professors at universities, you've got you know, people that are going out into the, the bush and the, the wild trying to find this. You've got people that are using their own money to find it. You've got people that are being put on by different TV channels. I mean, the, the money that's being put into finding, like, what is Bigfoot is incredible. And it comes down to, like, it could be... You know, Joe Schmo on the corner is looking for Bigfoot. It could be people like, uh, there's celebrities that look for, for Bigfoot. It's absolutely crazy. And you would think that coming up someday, we would finally get some sort of evidence, like big evidence, you know? And I love the podcast, uh, Wild Thing, where they talk about, you know, getting the samples and having them researched out you know not not this time but maybe next time and like just that quest for knowledge is fantastic I think that it really takes us as humans it's like we're fish in the water and there's this hook and the bait is what is Bigfoot and we just go after that bait and boom it hooks us hooks us forever It's not crazy to think that in maybe my lifetime or a next generation, we will finally find a sample as in like a living specimen or a dead specimen or something. I mean, just look at how long it took to actually like find the gorillas in Africa wasn't that long ago if you look it up I want to say it was the late 1800s can't look it up right now because I don't have that memorized (laughs) so if uh you know you want to blast me an email or comment on my Instagram posts on uh at Bigfoot Society definitely go ahead and let me know the actual date Uh, another thing that I want to say thank you for is 
Uh, the cool thing about using Anchor for podcasts is that I can see statistics on where my listeners are. And I was blown away the other day that I've got listeners for this podcast all over the place. The main place is Texas, which at first I was a little surprised at, but then I was like, whoa, you've heard about Area X, you've seen it, Area X mentioned in great detail on the Trail of Bigfoot. If you haven't watched that documentary yet, it's fantastic. I love the episode that goes in Area X. So if you're from Texas, you're listening to this, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. And I've got listeners, man, you guys are all over the place. Uh, Washington, Oregon, I've got listeners in the UK, in London, uh, Scotland. I mean, you guys are incredible. There's a thirst for Bigfoot all around the world. In fact, if you guys are listening to this podcast, if you could do me a favor and if you go over to at Bigfoot Society, there's going to be a post that'll like say, hey, this is the new episode. If you could comment on that and say, I listen to Bigfoot Society podcast and I'm from fill in the blank. You know, you can just be your state or your country. And I would love to see all the comments on that post. I know you guys are out there. I mean, there's a ton of listeners all over the world. It's pretty cool. So thank you uh, for listening, taking the time out of your day to listen to me, you know, ramble a little bit about Sasquatch. That's what I like to do. Uh, I would love to hear some feedback from you guys because I know you're listening. What's some feedback about what you would like to hear me talk about next? My next big goal for the podcast is I would want to desperately get an interview and I got to set that up and, you know, do the whole, like, okay, it's going to be on the computer. It's going to be Skype. It's going to be, have, you know, headphones, blah, blah, blah. But I want to get an interview. Like, that's going to be cool. I've always loved um, kind of a little journalism side to me. Love writing. Uh, love writing articles. Uh, I was able to be a PA on um, Terror in the Skies, uh, the new Seth Breed Love documentary is coming out. I am a, a PA on that for second unit, uh, which means that uh, my friend Andrew <coughs> had me uh, say the questions, come up with some questions, read some uh, to the guys that we were interviewing about things like the Van Meter Visitor uh, and different Thunderbird type legends so that was pretty awesome shout out for that uh, but yeah please feedback about what our next steps will be greatly appreciate that be awesome also before I finish this episode quick episode uh, giving a plea out Send me a direct message on Instagram at Bigfoot Society. If you have an amazing story about Bigfoot that you have not shared with anyone before, I want at Bigfoot Society to be the place where you share, where you feel secure to be able to share that with me would be amazing. Send me your story on Instagram if you want to type it out or... You know, if you want to do an interview about it, we can do that too. We can set that up. Contact me if you want to have Bigfoot Society, the place where you share, you finally share your Bigfoot story with the rest of the world. I think it would be fantastic. Hit me up and remember, check out Bigfoot and Beyond. The new podcast from Bobo and Cliff coming out. And remember, we're going to get them on the show eventually. Bobo and Cliff, if you're listening, I know you are, hit me up. I'm going to be hitting you up, and we're going to get you on the show. All right. <clears throat> Squatch you out, guys. I'm going to come up with a good tagline, but for now, uh, stay squatchy. Squatch on. Squatcheroo.
I know. We'll come up with a good one. If you can come up with a good tagline, something for me to end the show saying cheesy like, let me know as well. Stay cool, Squatchers. <laughs> All right. Peace out. Stay squatchy.